This program is brought to you by Emory University. Um, the thing that's interesting about it is that we're actually able to um, use a liver from a patient who needs a transplant to give that to someone else. You know, usually the scenario is we have a person who has liver disease, like Mr. Massey, who had <coughs> um, liver disease from hepatitis C that he contracted through uh, blood transfusions for his hemophilia a number of years ago before the appropriate screening processes were in place. And so his liver is diseased, we need to take his liver out and give him a new liver. Normally we would have to wait for a, cat for a, a deceased donor, someone who's died and, and the family has donated the organs or that person has, has um, previously signed a registration or a driver's license to say they wanted to donate their organs and we would have to wait for that liver to come available <clears throat> and then be able to transplant him. In fact, he's been waiting for a liver transplant for how many years? Probably? Almost seven years. Seven years yeah. uh, up in the Northeast. So in, <clears throat> in Jean's situation, Jean also needed a liver transplant, but she did not have liver, dise liver disease per se. She had a genetic disease called maple syrup urine disease. It's a basically a, a disease that's um, where uh, the body is lacking an enzyme that allows her to break down proteins and, and appropriately use them. So what that means is that her body builds up the, the byproducts of some of these proteins and that can affect her neurologically over the course of her life. It's a very, it can be a very debilitating disease, can lead to severe neurologic problems, severe mental retardation, severe um, problems neurologically. It's only by the, the uh, very careful medical attention and particularly the attention of her parents over her lifetime and an early recognition at what, 11 days old, Jean, you were diagnosed? Yeah, yes, I was. <laughs> that allowed them to control her diet through her life such that she could somewhat control some of the symptoms over her lifetime and, and prevent some of the development of that neurologic status or neurologic problems. But <clears throat> um, as it turns out, and, and we can talk to Jean and let her tell you about the problems she started to have, which can, uh, in these patients typically it's depression and, and a lot of other things, uh, inability to uh, focus, which was taking her away from schoolwork. She just couldn't do it anymore. Um, <clears throat> so the way that we can fix that is by giving her an organ that will make those enzymes that she lacks. So we can give Jean a transplant, but her liver's not diseased. It just doesn't make that enzyme. So we could use her liver to give to someone else as long as the rest of, the uh, rest of that person's body made that enzyme appropriately. And so, in Bob's case, it was a perfect opportunity to get a liver for him that he's been waiting for for seven years uh, and get him transplanted um, in a timely fashion. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.